This is a demonstration of the current version of Gapminder World. It's available at gapminder.org. And this is a program that allows you to do different visualizations with the UN data that has been collected here. Um, Gapminder provides you the option to select different countries or different categories of data, different variables that you want to look at. So, for example, um, this is the standard one that it shows up with, and this is life expectancy in years by income per person. So you can go through here and if we wanted to select say a couple of countries we could choose and let's say we choose France and Italy and the United States. I can select these countries from the bar here and I can pull the time span here to the year I'd like to start at and Gapminder will tell you as noted um, in the top right hand corner here if I go before 1900 the data before 1900 is uncertain so we'll start at 1900 and you can watch it play out through the century here in terms of life expectancy and income per person so you can see that we have kind of a tracking and you can see the great drop in life expectancy in both France and Italy during the World War the first and the second and you can see that the US was not as affected by that right and you can see that they kind of continue to race up here and when they stop finally it looks like we will find that the US is richer than both France and Italy but that it is not higher in life expectancy if I was to deselect all it would provide for me all the countries available and you could look at this both by region when you see the different colors you can see that they highlight in this map here you can look at things by region or by country specifically if we were to change this here and look at a different variable say for example we could look at unemployment unemployment rate um, let's do aged let's do age 15 to 24 right and here now we have the percentage of unemployment and the income per person again down here this could also be changed for the purpose of this we're going to leave it the same I now want to drag the time frame back so that we can see the changing of it you'll notice that the time frame available for this data is much much shorter okay and we can watch this data track here we wanted to pick a few select countries here. We could look at China and the US and let's say India. So if we look at these three countries, again this will map them over the other countries. So we will still be able to see what else is going on. But it'll highlight and shadow track the paths of the countries we select. play it from the beginning here which is 1991 and this is employment rate so you can see the employment rate is steadily decreasing in these countries which means of course unemployment is going up if we were to look at unemployment we could look at the percentage rate, let's look at it in this larger age group here, age 25 to 54. You'll see that we do not have this data for nearly as many countries, so I'm going to deselect all, pull the time frame back, and allow us to kind of watch unemployment here from the early 80s. you see that this jumps around a lot. If I had been tracking specific countries, you can see here that the unemployment in the United States had gone up and down a bit but that Poland is still significantly higher in its unemployment as is Turkey and Germany and France and Spain and several other countries up to 2005 here they do not have the current data on that so this is just a variety of things you can do if for example we had wanted to follow something with more countries here co2 emissions has a lot of data in it if we wanted to follow something where we looked at a couple different countries say we looked at Australia and Denmark and El Salvador 
and Morocco, the United States, and the United Arab Emirates. Okay, and we wanted to run this for the past several years here. We could do that again. This will give us tracking trails on the countries we're following. Obviously, the numbers on these, if you scaled back earlier, are for very few countries, if any, um, as not the emissions rate would not have been as high. So we can watch it here from the Industrial Revolution and see what happens. And you can see that overall, while there is some backtracking um, in terms of income, for the most part, emissions grow steadily. The exception being here where we have the United Arab Emirates and this path being quite erratic both in terms of income and a steep 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 incline in admissions and these are just some different ways that you can use the data that Gapminder has and show visualizations of it